Hello, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. So, actually, uh, that uh, meeting was spontaneously. And we just meet with the Ferus right now. And we little bit had some uh, conversation about interesting stuff. So, Ferus, this is your microphone. Thank you very much, Faig. Oh, you didn't have a... <laughs> it's okay, it's, it's magnetic. Okay, so now it's, now it's good. So our conversation, uh, our th our, the theme of our conversation is going to be like tradition, heritage, uh, culture, and, um, and, and what, Ferris? Um, I think for us, I think we were talking about um, ideas, where we got, where we get our ideas us from, you know, okay. um, what inspires us. What okay. kind of uh, what kind of what kind of um, situations <laughs> do we put ourselves in so that we can get ideas for our works? So yeah. then, so the my actual then first stop. What we doing actually? Like as an artist, like we we making uh, we are creating the conflict between past and future or now. So this is making maybe that's the point where the, these ideas and inspiration coming. Okay. So because there are no movement like moving without conflict i'm thinking in this way and uh, when you just uh, when you creating this conflict you can get this idea back i don't know like you can inspire that that can inspire you mm. because any any actual any art is a conflict between reality and maybe this is there two reality but it's anyway it's have to be conflict for conflict we have to find always the opposite part of two like, for example, like what we're doing, like it's tradition, and for example, you using the video mapping on heritage. Uh, we have uh, some. Oh, you wanna? Okay, um, <laughs> I can show that, no problem. Okay, uh, can we swipe to the projection? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, um, so this is a project that we did a couple of years ago. Um, it's called Borea Raya. Borea is a type of uh, traditional northern Malaysian uh, performance where they actually use um, dance and poetry uh, and music as part of the performance. So um, it started in the 1845, came to Malaysia. It was actually, uh, uh, I think, uh, a movement to remember the Battle of Kabbalah. So it was kind of like a uh, performance to to remember what happened, you know, okay. in the period. So it became it was quite religious, you know, uh, when it first started. But then afterwards, it became uh, <laughs> it became like a theater performance of um, how do you explain? Like uh, uh, more folk stories, more folk, yeah. um, more folk. Um, what we call it um, ideas about family. So um, actually, I mean now I. I understand the value of this culture. I mean, <laughs> now I understand the why I didn't. Right. But that was a. I was young for sure, and yeah. uh, I just didn't like it. And I just left this school and went to the uh, art uh, Azerbaijan Art Academy, sculpture faculty. That also was more boring than this music. Uh, music. So really? I just started to, after the, I finished the academy. I start to study. Like I start to experiment with different media. Like I started with a video. I also was a VJ for a long time for Benassi oh, Bros. Okay. Cool. For yeah, about a year, and um, uh, so I mean, just I try everything. I tried not everything, but we can try everything. But I just try to find the old materials. I try to find the unique materials with a mm. unique something because I explore the. I just want to find a place where I can be first, like where I can be, you know, like where I can be somebody who just start to explore this material, this conception or idea. And um, so then after I understand that everything was explored already so the only way to to find something it's coming back to your culture because that's yeah. the, the place and that was actually the hard part because uh, the transition between me and my culture was huge because I traveled a lot you know I just already was a between the Western um, uh, uh, the culture let's say like that I mean Baku is a, as, a, as a Western culture the capital of Azerbaijan and uh, but same time, there's some villages, they still staying in the very close society system. Mm. 
So and was it was very hard to start to speak with the craft makers like uh, with the people who are doing this all this craft by generation. So and in between this and another idea, when I just uh, the parallel, I start to explore the the traditional pattern, but tradition, uh, the, but the, the shaman's traditions pattern. So that brings me to the ideas to explore carpets. And after that, I, it's that was was actual challenge because that was very hard to find some way to do any changing in the carpet mm. you know because so this is the imagine like it's village where the carpet make it only women and it's very uh, conservative village where you can come and just you know knock the door and say hi I want to do the carpet no. you know I was like kicked off from the some villages yeah. like a lot of time and uh, I thought, I thought, now I understand the, it's, it was normal because you know because you're a male is that it uh, because I'm male, yes, exactly. Okay. I just first couple years I did it through the. I just want to. Uh, can you click it? Oh, okay, yeah, it's it's manual. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> no, just yeah. Maybe maybe next one. Maybe next one. Next. Yeah, we can keep it. So actually, that was hard because the first of all, like I just came with the sketches. They thought that I'm teasing on the. I don't know. They thought you were? Uh, they, th they thought that I'm teasing on the culture. Teasing. Yeah, they're teasing oh. them, you know, with the stuff like that. Hard. And, uh, but, you know, that was a challenge. Mm. And it takes some, some time and uh, some couple years to, to, to find uh, the language to speak with them. So I found this language. I mean, the language through the paper, like through I the, see. you know, through the something like, uh, like sketches and stuff like that. So, and after that, it became. Uh, that. <laughs> okay, so um, how? Okay, so you you have on one side you have the uh, traditional uh, weavers, carpet makers, yeah, who you talk to and you discuss with, but they are only creating the work based on your instruction, yeah. So based on your sketch. So yeah, yeah exactly. So exactly yeah. Without the sketch, they will be continuing. No, absolutely. Even make, without my interference, because I have to come up, like in some process in yeah. some like you know for example like. The traditional part they can do easily. Like it's it can take like maybe two weeks, for example. It depends on the this size. Part. Yeah, that okay. part. And they know it by heart. This is the actually they cool stuff. Imagine, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they can do it by heart. I mean, they don't have to look at the sketch. So that's why you just have to maybe call some pattern and they can do it by heart. But it's very hard because they building it uh, the pixel by pixel. Imagine like, yeah, you know, the old I mean, old patterns like because the ca the carpet weaving like that. So you have to know the, any like every uh, pattern, how many pixels they are. Yeah. And they know it also by heart. But that part is much harder. So that's why they have to work on, on it in a little bit different way. So that's why we, next year, we work on how to do it like through the, the handmade weaving, the thing like this, for example. Okay. So I mean, that was a, um, uh, the challenge for them too, because they also like, work on their technology. We a little bit change, change the, the, the carpet technology for just to do like uh, the, the piece, piece like that. So the idea for this, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about your right hand side. Um, this, Why not left? This stretch, this distortion image. Yeah. So of all types of effects that you could have done, you know, with the carpet, um, if, if it was me, I would have done, just change the color, you know, invert the color from red becomes green and the square becomes circle, you know, a very basic um, distortion. But your distortion is, is like this, you know, you are pulling, like in Photoshop, you pull the edges and it becomes, you know, blur and, yeah. you know, so how, why, what caused you to take that um, concept to, and then translate it into a carpet? Why not another concept of, like I said, that, for instance, changing colors and all that other stuff? Okay, I understand. Um, so that's actually, this is the, actually the moment of the truth for me. I mean, like mm. not for the, the who looking at that because it's uh, you know, you know, it's again, again like this. This work, all my works is dividing for two parts. It's one of very traditional. which take the years on the I don't know ages to to bring these ideas to to us. And uh, another part is uh, something what's happened in just second. You know, it just. Uh, you know, just effect in Photoshop, which just translate to the to the to the carpet. You know, think what's done, what what by like you know what created by the ages before. So, actually, how I'm just like it's something what uh, the, the two conception like conception of immediately change and the conception of the ages, the changing the in ages. Like, I don't know how to say it in right in English. 
so, and how they can, can connect with each other with a, one material, with a, one technology. So it is, a, again, like technology of this, let's say, the traditional technology was take a lot of time to, to, uh, to make it in this, you know, in this kind of beautiful stuff. And at the same time with something what I, I can influence to them. And this influence actually sometimes is not beautiful. Like it's, it's not have to be beautiful. It's, it's no, I mean, like, uh, you know, like this is something what the people work more than that part. I mean, so that's why we, <laughs> if we're thinking it's beautiful, then it's, I don't know, <laughs> something wrong <laughs> with our minds. <laughs> no, okay, I understand what you're saying. Like, so that actually, this is the. I, I'm just. Uh, we start with the with the word with the, of the conflict. Like, it's it's a conflict between. You have to just make this conflict always. Right. You know, the, in your work, it's conflict in different things. You're taking mm -hmm. this again, the traditional, uh, heritage, like uh, valuable stuff, and just putting on through the again, like through the uh, the, the softwares, and you're changing the some. I don't know again, like you, you uh, and you're putting it on the building, mm -hmm. which is all also like part of the heritage, mm -hmm. and um, this is the conflict actually to, to your brain and the, <laughs> and the culture, and this this is the. This is what, what you can, it, this, in this conflict, can, you can create, actually. Okay, so I, I'm asking him a lot of questions. I'm turning into an interview, yeah? Um, so, but, but I'm, I'm very curious because what you're doing is um, something um, Malaysians, some Malaysian artists, uh, young artists, are also trying to do. They are looking at heritage and culture, looking at traditional crafts, for instance, and uh, trying to... Um, I don't know, contemporize it, make it more accessible to the modern society. You know, these are a lot of terms that um, I, I don't really, as a, also as an artist, I don't really understand um, um, why it's such a big deal. But there are a lot of people who are very concerned when you are talk, taking a culture or taking a heritage or taking a, a craft that already has existed for hundreds or thousands of years and then you are putting in something else, like distortion or you know, projection mapping on a building. You know? how, how does your conscience as an artist or your, your thinking as an artist um, resolve this conflict? Because you're talking about conflict, this is also a type of conflict, yeah? Where you're taking something old that has been established uh, and then putting with the conflict of modern life, modern technology, Photoshop, software. You know, these are two different things also in conflict. So you are putting them together, you know, for the world to see, not for yourself, but for everybody. So when people come and look at your work, maybe contemporary artists who look at your work will like it, will enjoy this, you know, this design and all that. But the ones who are not from that kind of background, you know, the, the, the ladies who are making the carpets, you know, for you. Yeah, they hate that. They hate this. No, but now not. But some of them, re they, you know, like there was some, uh, some times when they didn't do that because I didn't have an exhibition. <laughs> and they just, you know, they just called me, are you going to bring something into, because that, that was also interesting for them. But before that, they said like, you know, like we didn't like it, it's, it's something very, you know, like hard to do, you know. So that was, they didn't like it. It's sure, like, you know, the people is dividing for two parts, actually. Mm. Like, again, like we all dividing for two parts. Like something what we can, we won't keep conservative in, in, inside us, like, you know, like, we have something, like, some borders in, uh, you know, like, we don't just killing the people or just, you know, like, just, we don't just can uh, jump to the, I don't know, pool in the, in the, in the center of the city. So, I mean, we have some borders in, yeah. uh, in our life. But in other part, it's just, just always want to, to grow, you know, and the growing part is always something what destroying, what have to destroy it something. I mean, you can't grow without destruction, you know. And it's just uh, something what you have to understand inside you first, I think. So then you will understand, actually, the people who understand inside them. And I think a lot of people understand it. That's why most of them, they say, they're saying that we like that. Because they're feeling, it's actually we, what we talk about before. Like, it's something in, <clears throat> in our subconsciousness, which is, you know, the, our subconsciousness is a very stable uh, planet, let's say like that. It's some some place where nothing changed, never. You know, it's it's the where uh, the, our instinct is. The, it's the place where the, all our you know, the most of our knowledge from the past is, and um, yeah. But but consciousness always just want to try to push that and just try to convert it to something else. But what it's 
it will experiment will show. We have we have we have one hour, Faik. Yeah. Yeah, we only have half an hour. <laughs> we got another half an hour to go, yeah, man. Maybe with somebody else. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I I like what you're talking about. Uh, I really think um, when you're talking about consciousness, subconsciousness yeah. is the natural state, or is the yeah, is it's, the it's something. No, it's there actually also like I think there are some layers. So okay. the fir with the first layers we burning like we have some, you know when we. We uh, we had some kind of like uh, some kind of uh, let's say like wave not wave it's not right the code in our genes mm. which which influenced to us but the, immediately when we burn mm. I mean like we can be more aggressive we can be more passive mm. it doesn't matter like what kind of the, it's the kind of base of the human mm. with a, some kind of you know it's like base software in the computer mm. so after that like our parents like uh, you know uh, other friends uh, school. Mm environment and everything stuff starting to influence that this is the another thing like till the f seven uh like uh, till the seven we all seven have years old yeah, yeah. seven the, 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 uh, i mean like approximate age like in between five and seven uh, th that time is when the most of the most part of the information we re uh, we, we remember that all the, all this information but we uh, keeping this information in our subconsciousness where the place is close to us actually and the thing is, there are no words in this place. I mean, this is, you know, space without words. It's just maybe images, maybe sounds. You know, you, you have to collect them all together. And then you will understand maybe what is your base and why you're afraid of something and why you like something and why you, I don't know, don't like something, for example. So, but this subconscious is kind of like base of our whole mind, like all, all of our character or all of us, let's say like that. Because after that, we remember everything. We, I exactly remember when I, this first time, for example, uh, tried some fruits, for example, or something like that. I, I, and I can say it like, I choose I like it or not. Like, but but thing is, everything based on, if something based on something, mm. it's mean it's always have influence to us. And when you direct to influence the subconsciousness, mm. so that will work interesting, you know? That, but then it's without word can influence to your consciousness. So we actually go very, very deep, I think. Okay, I think <laughs> some people are sleeping. Yeah. It's okay. We'll just continue. Okay. Um, can I switch slides to my computer? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna show something else. Um, show something. Fun. Yeah. Show something funny. Yeah. yeah. Not not funny. We have YouTube. No, no. There's no internet here. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is a continuation from the project that I did. Okay. Um, the building uh, projection mapping. So what we did was we um, turned into it, the buildings into streets. So instead of uh, projection mapping on the building, we did projection mapping on the street. Okay. Okay, wait, let me see if you can play. Yeah. So, this is actually like a mobile projector unit, uh, um, and we went around town. This is in Penang as well. Yeah. So, we turned the streets into uh, performance spaces. We turned the streets into um, cinema walls or projection walls. So, people would have to come along with the performance. I think there's music. Yeah, a bit. Okay, so this is a, uh, that's the thing. A, it's called a warung. Warung is like a, um, is a Malay word for a stall. Okay. Like one of these stalls here, yeah, like you see yeah, them here, yeah. but with wheels and a bicycle and a projector and a, and a generator and speakers. So it goes around town, you know, in specific locations yeah, yeah. and um, stays there for a couple of minutes, does a show and then goes around again, goes around, goes around, goes around. Yeah. I mean, you didn't uh, do any like opening or something. You just, just started projecting, and it was just happening in the yeah. street. Yeah. So it was kind of like, a, uh, it wasn't like a show show. It was more like people are walking and they see something on the wall. Exactly. Oh, okay. yeah. What's going on? This like a moving graffiti. Like yeah. Graffiti. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like a moving graffiti. You know. Uh, okay, you can't really see. Actually, anything. which is very good. Actually, this is another idea, like gra of graffiti, like is, or street art. If, if yeah. we'll, we can call it street art. Yeah. In a way, you can call it street yeah, art. Yeah. This is the whole unit. Uh, this is how it looks like. Okay, so uh, this was, a, was a, again a test, an experiment. Yeah, um, this experiment came after the Borea experiment because I wanted to see um, what would happen if people the projection was smaller. What happened if the projection was in spaces where you never thought you would see a projection? Mm -hmm. You know. Um, when you're having dinner, you're walking to your restaurant, you see a projection. When you're waiting for your motorbike, you see a projection. You know, so these are kind of spaces where uh, I was looking at and trying to 
experiment with what happens when the visual comes to you rather than you going to to it. Yeah. You know, like going to the cinema, yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to prepare yourself, you have to line up and pay a ticket. But this one is all free. The shows are all free. It goes. Exactly, it has yeah. it has multiple locations, and you can be anywhere, and uh, and you you will have you will have a have a performance. So this idea also, well, t going back to our the title of our talk, which is cut and copy, I think, or cut versus copy. Um, this is a lot of copying. You okay. know, uh, is a is a combination of combination copying of many things okay. that you put together, and then it comes into a. Something, I guess you can call it unique, yeah? but um, there are other people who are doing this kind of stuff as well. But I think what, what for me was good for, was interesting about this project is that it's taking um, public spaces and turning into more private, uh, uh, more public spaces. Turning it, public spaces in, to become more public. Yeah, because exactly, yeah. a lot of spaces in, in Malaysia, you know, it's private property, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't stand here, it's owned by a building, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You know, but when you have projection mapping, people just, okay, Forget about the rules. We're just gonna hang out. Exactly. Watch, even will, though it's private it. property, you know. Yeah, that's interesting actually because when you're bringing art to the people, like direct to the people, you, you that's that's another thing actually. Then uh, the this art have to be also different. It's have to be mm. the art, the conception of art have to be very close to advertising conception. Mm. I mean, not as a to promoting something, but as a to be very fast and influenceable. Like, is it right to say? I don't know. Yeah, word, yeah. Like to have a, some fast influence, you know. Like just Immediate that. Pop, you yeah, it's have yeah. to just catch you in in yeah. second, you know. Yeah. But it's not something like you have to stay and just watch and maybe read or something like that. It's <laughs> it's different type of art. Right. Uh, so, it's not mean that the quality of art then going down or, or I mean, you have you thought about that to make it like I don't. I mean, for sure, like you can bring intellectual art to the street. Maybe mm. you can bring it, but but you you you, know, you will never do that in the in the way what you're doing. You know, I mean, uh, if if intellect, I mean, the the art what is what need more knowledge than uh, uh, a lot of knowledge. So you you have to just uh, you have to take some some piece of this art mm. like this the knowledge and just bring it to some in a, some more. Uh, the okay, I will say it in another way. Okay, <laughs> I'm a bit transcend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I can, I can, mm. I can explain this idea even like in inside me. Um, I mean, is there difference of what with the what language we're speaking outside or inside of? The, I mean, the, the some some space for showing art yeah. or or in the street. Okay. And the, is this language different? And is this like language have to be different uh, as a media and as a, as a conception, as ideas, or for use that a matter. I mean, you can use any media for for your for your expression, for your idea, like for your uh, ideas. Mm. Well, um, of course, when when you're doing work inside a gallery, you know, and you're doing work outside on the street, um, it has to have a different kind of presentation. The way the way you present the work. Um, because on the streets, like I said just now, you're not going to the streets to see art. You know, um, yeah, yes. you, you don't go to the street to see a painting on the wall, uh, you, but you do go to a gallery or a museum to see art. So the um, the mentality of the audience when they're coming into a space that is meant for art changes. Um, mentality when they're walking down the street to buy food from the shopping mall also changes. So like you were talking about. Um, Advertising, you know, you gotta be quick, you gotta be fast, you gotta be yeah, yeah. loud, you gotta be big, you know. So, the, in a way, yeah, you can you can call this um, work like advertising because it has to follow the language of the street. Because one problem I had with this project was we had a couple of locations that we shot, um, we, we did projection. Um, some locations were where audiences were already sitting, meaning that they were either having dinner or they were waiting for the bus, you know? So the projection was, oh, something going on, okay, we'll watch while, we yeah, wa yeah. while we're waiting for the bus, for instance. But there were other locations where it was on a busy street, on a busy road, yeah, exactly. uh, with cars passing by and people walking to one spot, to one spot. The work, people just looked for about 30 seconds and then, you know, because they had something else to do, you know? So they didn't want to stay and watch. So for me, as the, as the the curator of this project, 
um, it was very um, important to understand where you put the work and what kind of um, location that you choose because that will autom automatically uh, des des decide what kind of work you make. So I cannot make a work that is contemplative and you know, a lot of reading and text in a location where people are walking very quickly. It doesn't make sense. Exactly. You know? so, but if I take a location where people are sitting down and, and having That's dinner and there's some text, they might eat it and yeah, yeah. watch and at the same time. So for me, I, it, it's, it's the other way around where I have, to be, uh, I have to be conscious and I have to be aware of my audience and where they're coming from and where they'll be, then I make the work. So it was, it's kind of backwards in the sense that in gallery, you know, just, okay, I want my yeah, painting, yeah, yeah. I want it to be this high, no. this spotlight, you know? No, but in, in this case, your gallery is a street, like a city, yeah. let's say. Like, you can choose the location yourself, yeah. you can choose the people, yeah. what kind of the people, and what, in what condition, actually. Yeah. So it's, it's mean that your media also the people, also, and they, their mm. attentions. Yeah, you know what I media, mean? yeah. Yes, because if you're not just putting in the world, that's why I just want to speak about that. Yeah. It's not just a gravity like when you're putting it somewhere. Like, you know, you're choosing the special place for that. And also, uh, where, where I ask this question, because actually the, the information on the street, like it's kind of advertising, uh, you know, like graffiti and something, it's not something important. But your message is something, uh, maybe I can say like it's a very important thing, but it's, it's something very, uh, very interesting to know. Like it's, mm. it's about the, your heritage, it's about in general the heritage and how it can be transferred and it's shown in, the, mm. in, the, in, the, in different media, in different mm. point of the view. And actually it's, it's, it is an important part of, uh, of the whole process of the art. Mm. Um, and I think you're doing it in the, it in the very good way, actually. Like how you just choosing the places, and the, because you same time you choosing not the places like as a as a heritage, like the place like some traditional buildings, mm. or the, some the buildings very important for the for the city or the, for the culture. I, I got a question for you, yeah. um, Aik, um, because because your work, yeah, is carpets, and usually carpets are on the floor. Yeah, you're supposed okay. to step on it, and you're supposed to use it, and then like. Well, we were talking about this earlier. It has um, spiritual functions. Yeah, the shamans used to use it. Now it becomes just interior. Yeah. So, but your works are carpets on the wall. You know. So it becomes um, an, a work, like a painting in a way. You know. So you you've ch you've moved the posi by moving the position of the work from the floor to the wall. Um, how how has that changed the the work? I mean, because now it's not a carpet ornament anymore. Anymore is yeah. a work, art work. Yeah, you can put a frame around it now. You know, <laughs> you don't put a frame on a carpet on the floor, but you put a frame on the, on the work on the wall. You know, so is there any yeah. difference from Actually, putting on the floor? Actually, no. It just uh, it, I just did it just because it's uh, it's mm, you know it's more more comfortable to look at that. You're just mm. watching it. Mm. Uh, Nothing else, but but now I'm just uh, actually now do, doing experiment with the carpets for the corner, for example, corner just using the the wall and the floor same time, just as something on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yes, yes, yes. I remember so I mean, just uh, the 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 thing which is not useful, but same time the place is not useful, like just to, to put because actually the the carpet is very useful stuff, like I mean, yeah. it's a we it's functional stuff with we're putting in the floor, but if it somewhere where it's not can be used and the, the, the shape of that and the place like it's corner of the house we never I mean we're using it but the far, for the furniture but never for the carpet so that will that will also make some you know different position of the same material mm. and um, and I, I mean I'm coming to your question actually sometimes it's just because it's just uh, it's just functionally you can find uh, uh, the easy way to, to watch it in other in another point, I'm just like putting in the, like just experimenting with the, you know, mm. in the places. So that's all, actually. Okay, okay, okay. So um, we were talking about the, the topic of the, our talk is copy and um, create. So um, another thing I want to ask you is, apart from um, your background, and you, you were telling me you, you, you're bored about music, so you tried, about, you tried everything other else, and then you came to a point where this is it, what you wanted to do. So now being a, can I call you a textile, experimental textile artist? Yeah, can I call you that? Yes, too, too long, okay, artist, <laughs> short. Um, as an artist, yeah, I think maybe some people who are listening, um, how, how are your ideas, 
how do you how do you combine your ideas? How do you decide which idea is good? Like uh, you, were, I think you were telling me about you know the mandala and trying to learn the language of patterns. Yeah. So, how do you get from uh, making patterns just um, like this distortion, and then coming to going deeper? Why why did you choose to have that idea of going deeper into the language of patterns, as opposed to maybe why not make, uh, we, you started doing carpets, maybe you want to do uh, clothes, you know what I mean? Uh, so why, why did that direction, instead of going that way, it went this way or that way? Yeah, yeah this is a good question. No, uh, the, my research in, in patterns, like going deep into patterns, just research it as a spiritual object, that was a uh, that was a like, personal research. It not was uh, about art. Personal. Yeah, that was a personal. I just did it for myself, and that was interesting for me. And um, but it's influenced me to to research also the carpet, which is influenced to my art after that. And um, so, the, but but why I choose the carpet? The carpet actually it's very stable. Like it's as a visual material. Like it's it's some like object. But let's say like it's something never changed. Like the oldest carpet that's but what we can see right now. Like, I mean like in our or somewhere in our houses and the, or somewhere else. Uh, this kind of carpet, I mean, what we're weaving right now, it's, uh, it was like the oldest carpet was found uh, 2,500 years old. Um, it's from Azerbaijan? No, 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 it was from Central Asia, it's like okay. uh, in the Russian part. It's called Pazarik carpet, but it's, uh, you know, and it's actually the old design is net, didn't change. Like, design is always, I mean, they changed the, for sure, the colors, you know, some like I don't know, some uh, uh, patterns like they just uh, replaced some patterns. But in general, design like it's it's all. I mean, like 99% carpets all over the world. They have a borders, they have a center, or they have a uh, something feeling of the center, mm -hmm. like some pattern with a feeling in the uh, you know like space in uh, between the borders. And um, I mean that's why it's, that was interesting because the people like it. That's why they don't want to change it because the home is a place where you don't want any changes. You know, air changes going down, like you know, outside. But the house is a place where you just want to rest. I mean, like in general, like it's, it's the conception of the house is like that. The idea of the house is like that. So and the, the carpet was something what keep this all uh, symbol of this cousiness. Like I don't know the cousin. I don't know the side. Yeah, I mean like. Cozy, nice. like cozy, yeah, cozy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why I think it was a they stability. It's stability just a little uh. distress me, you know. Like that's why <laughs> I try okay. to just find a, uh, to move the stability out. All right. So you're not you you're not comfortable with being comfortable. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> oh, it's so comfortable. Oh, I cannot. I gotta change it a bit. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So this is always back to the thing about conflict. Always exactly okay. yes. So okay. th when you are always in the conflict, actually it's also bad because you're, if you're always in the conflict, <laughs> this means you're in some stable situation too. You know, right. then sometimes then you have to change and uh, to you know go get down and it's like a wave. You know, everything working working as a wave. So if you will just put your, let's say like uh, your way, like wave, wave, like yeah. you know, then it will work. So then then it will all this will get power and you will use this power and you'll again get power and they will use this power so the idea of the in general ideas like mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. okay cool um can we change to a slide i just want to take a look yeah. again um next one oh yeah okay um, so I want I want to see the 3D the one uh, uh, the one that looked like a wave. Actually, this one, but you ask about the floor and yeah, and this uh, one, yeah, and uh, and and wall. Okay. Uh, actually, it's actually you know uh, in uh, in the most of the uh, the houses uh, in apartment in Azerbaijan they're using the carpet on the, also on the wall as a decoration object. Okay. A traditional carpet. On yes. The wall. Yes. Okay. okay. And there are a lot of photo with on the. Like, you know, there was a, in our parents, you know, generation, they had a lot of photos and uh, the, with a carpet background. So that was something, you know, fashionable, I don't okay. know, some kind of thing. Oh, I see, and I see. Uh, so that's why it's, and now it's, you know, it's, it's all, you know, in uh, turning something, not carpet, you know. Okay. Because it's, it's you know, I, I'm not thinking what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just doing not it. Not thinking what you're doing. 
Just doing. Yes, okay. that's why the part what like what we can see down like I mean for example the changing part it's not something exact it's not something cor like it's not something we can what we can read really it I mean it's just something happened like it's process of happiness I don't know how to say it process right process of happiness okay okay I gotta ask your translator <laughs> what that means <laughs> okay uh, can we one more I want to see the uh, not this one um, oh that's it the one with the uh, go forward uh, backwards sorry. Backwards, 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 backwards. Yes, this one. Okay, so this is, again, I, I forgot about this work because I remember I was asking you about the carpet on the wall, but this is on the floor. Yeah, but this is on the floor, but it's not just on the floor, it's coming out, out, of, out of the floor. Actually, well. th this carpet was made by under the mu one like music, uh, one, uh, it's not band, it's. Um, What's the name it's of the, uh, the Burzum. He's uh, okay. it's, um, like a um, uh, singer mm. who's uh, like. So he was a vandal, kind of vandal in music, a vandal in life, and uh, he did it. Yes, yeah. uh, you know the vandal. It's like somebody who's just uh, always like you know. Uh, Going against society. Yeah, majority exactly. Yeah, he was like an anti-society person. Like so, he he been in jail. I mean, but he had a very very good music ambience. Like you will never say that it's it's right by the person who was a, who was a vandal. So it was under this, I, I, even I didn't know about this person who write this music. I just listened to his, listened his music and I, I really like it and just, uh, you know, it's bringing me to this stuff. I just, uh, you know, I had also uh, the soft, which is convert the music to the waves, yes. like different kind of the objects. Yeah. So I a little bit developed this uh, soft and then they start to experiment with a different, different, like, you know, um, uh, let's say like uh, the, the shapes mm. of the music. So this is a, a wave from his song or a yeah. wave from, okay, okay. Exactly, yeah. Okay. But, but I just, you know, there are different type of the shapes, like making, like, it can be like this, it can be like this, or yeah. it can be like just some round, which changing round or something like that. So you can put your own shapes there and it's just showing the, how the music is uh, working. So your work, this definitely ha well, has a lot of, um, to get to the process of this image sketch that you give to your, your carpet makers, yeah. you had to use software. It was no other way that Absolutely you could get no. to this without software. No, I, I just tried to do something without that. So, and I just, I mean, I just started about years ago. So, and it's a little bit hard actually, because I have to always be near the carpet maker. Mm. So that's why I'm, you know, like this was, it's very hard to, to always like, you know, just, uh, you know, just call to say, oh, how it's going? Just to send me uh, the photo of the carpet. You know, no. it's, it's not working like that. Work, yeah. So, and uh, so that's why I'm using the always uh, softwares to just transfer the all this, you know, all these uh, sketches to the 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 uh, to some to put it in some some software where I'm just again I'm writing I'm just you know drawing by hands all this you know uh, the mapping all this carpet mm. and after that uh, the carpet maker can read that. Mm, okay, all right, great man, I like it, I like it a lot. So how how do you um sorry, just too many questions, but how does it stand again? Do you have uh, you have structures underneath it to make but, it but no it's, that. it's sketch it's never been done actually oh it's a sketch yeah okay oh wow you should do it then <laughs> in real life yeah so but yeah. It, th th this is the thing actually it's taking the too long very long time so that's why it's, i have to just uh, you know take some time mm. just uh, to work on this project mm. but it's because it have to be big and uh, because the carpet have to you know lay on this form and uh, right that for that's why it's have to you know have right, some right, some right, uh, right, right. Wow. You have to have uh, some, um, yeah, the okay. size of the shapes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I thought it was made. Okay, <laughs> great. Okay, um, 6.18, so we're talking nonsense for about half an hour, 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah, okay. okay. So let's uh, ask the audience, do you have any nonsense questions? Oh, wow. No, no, don't ask, don't, don't, don't ask. Don't, don't ask him. I didn't see that. Yeah, he okay. will ask the, some weird question and oh. we'll, we'll never, never, never ask end. this. <laughs> uh, that's not a question, sir. That's uh that's uh, feedback. Um, yeah. Anybody curious about what we're doing? Uh, other yeah. th okay. <laughs> you didn't see my work. I'm walking I've seen your work. Whoa, oh, this is loud. No, no. I'm just um, regarding the concept stage from actually starting a piece to actually finishing it. 
I mean, what's the actual process? How long does it take? And do you have any like creative blocks that you have to overcome, especially like that piece where it has the perspective one? I mean, what kind of like um, you know things do you have to work out? Ah, it's a real question, huh? In your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gave him the mic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The actually, we actually told you about that. If you came at the time <laughs> of the lecture, you will you will know that. I was, this I was doing something else. <laughs> okay. But actually, it's uh, like we just like I will just tell uh, like as answer in the short uh, in the short way uh, in the short question and short answer that uh, that was a uh, uh, the conflict between uh, the ages of tradition and something can be changed very fast like something we can change in any software in computer like any anything like what you can do in the in a one second so the whole idea actually this all this carpet is like that so I mean the, you're asking about this perspective uh, perspective one and that yeah. stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so it's question of the time and human uh, and the human's energy, which is like put in this old ages and same time in the one second, which is you can do same thing in the same uh, I don't know same same uh, period of the time. Like my my answer also was not so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we move on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, any other questions? I guess not. Okay. Um, so thank. Oh, there is. Is there a question? <laughs> oh no, just playing with us. Oh, okay. Um, all right. In that case, thank you very much. Um, we appreciate your your time, and see you again next time. Thank you, Faik. All thank right. You very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I should return the mic. <laughs>